It's your boy Constavis34 and Woodstock 50 is officially, 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 officially canceled, okay? This time is for real. We actually get statements from people that were so stubborn for months, that were so delusional for months. They were like, no, we're still going to do this. We have no permit. We have no organization. We have no set plan. We have no tickets on sale. But we're still going to do this, guys. Don't stop believing. And, um, you know, if I had the tenacity and uh you know will of michael lang i probably could run another full marathon i've stopped at too but if i had his absurd and crazy nature of not giving up despite everything saying dude give it up yeah i could run another marathon if if we all try to embrace our michael lang in our professional careers and our personal goals our fitness goals our relationship goals we will be better people as long as we don't try to put on a festival we can use what Michael Lang and, and Greg Peck, they're, they're, they're just absurd confidence and arrogance. We can use that and become amazing people. The world will be a better place if we take the positive of how, of how hard working they were to make something work that was never going to work and use in our lives. That's what I'm taking from Woodstock 50. I want to be just like Michael Lang. These are the quotes from them. Now, Michael Lang says, we are saddened that a series of unforeseen setbacks has made it impossible to put on the festival we imagined with the great lineup we had booked and the social engagement we were anticipating. Unforeseen events. If you don't have a permit, you can't run a festival. Uh, I don't know. Maybe back you should have had that permit secured way before um, it was starting to get towards March and April. Okay. And let's look at part of what Greg Peck says. Um, Greg Peck, principal of Woodstock 50, the, you, the unfortunate dispute with our financial partner and the resulting legal proceedings set us off course. Wait, so Dentsu, a very powerful brand out of the Japan who says, hey, we're big, we have a lot of money, we know how to do stuff in the PR and communications avenues of this world. Um, we're doing the Olympics in 2020 in Tokyo. We decided, you know, with our expertise, our knowledge, with our, our, our brand and reputation on the line, that you're not going to, odds are, this isn't going to work, okay? The unfortunate dispute, no, it was fortunate that they backed out that early so that something didn't go through and fans didn't actually get tickets on sale and be screwed out of thousands of dollars in, in, in travel preparations, you know? You know, Dentsu in, in Aegeus, this, uh, you know, conglomerate here, and look them up out of Japan, they said, look, you don't have a permit, son. It's April. It's April, and you don't have a permit. We don't think you... What are you doing, guys? The permit should have been here. The tickets should have been on sale, but you have none of that. So, you know what? Dentsu did you guys a favor because they told you what you should have listened to the whole time. You ain't got the permits. You ain't got the organization. This joint ain't happening, okay? So, these quotes are hilarious, Okay, but we should all embrace our inner Michael Lang just for our personal perseverance and overcoming odds in our life. But again, do not use what they have to try to run a festival. Okay, and then the multiple venue thing. Oh, it got canceled here. It got canceled here. No, no, no. You had a venue that you couldn't get a permit to after months on months on months where you should have already had that locked in. They backed out. They said, peace up, A-Town down. We don't believe that you guys can handle this space respectively. You can get everything out without being dirty and messy and left a mess. And you said, oh, by the way, we're still going to go to another town in New York. And we're going to say, hey, let's try to have it over here. And here's the kicker. This is what is also funny. Okay. So they go and they, they find Vernon Downs, right? And they go to that town and they say, hey, give us two months, okay? Give us two months. Law enforcement, EMTs, give us two months, we'll have everything set up, okay? What festival ever in the history of festivals in the modern age, in the last 20 years, has told a town, hey, Give us two months. You weren't expecting to have this festival here before we proposed it a couple weeks ago. Give us two months. We have hundreds of pages of BS, but please give us two months and we will definitely get everything organized. That's not how it works, okay? That's not how it works, Mr. Wang, L Mr. Wang, <laughs> Mr. Lang <laughs> and uh, Mr. Peck. 
You don't do that. It's not unfortunate disputes. It's not unforeseen things. Um, anyone in the music industry, anyone in the promoting industry will tell you, if you're trying to plan something in two months and you don't have tickets on sale, it's not going to work. So that's all I got to say about this. What do you guys think? Um, when we look back at this, this is this the Firefest vibes would never were possible because they couldn't get tickets sold. They couldn't get tickets sold because they couldn't get permits. Get your permits. You know, John Mayer got his permits, and I saw him a couple weeks ago. The other bands I've seen this year, they have their permits, okay? Um, everyone that I'm going to see this year, shout out to all those artists who got their permits, all the promoters who, promoters who got their permits, because clearly uh, Woodstock 50 was just a fire on the mountain, but thankfully no one invested into actual tickets or, or camping packages um, you know, so they didn't lose that money. And now they can uh, go to other festivals that are organized and have their permits like Lockin and um, enjoy those festivals. So there's what it is. It's your boy, Consul Viz 34. Peace.